Maddie, and this is my cat, Marshmallow. I'm building Marshmallow a new cat tree inspired by Gabby's dollhouse. But I'm going to let Marshmallow design the cat tree himself. Let's get started. The first thing I need to know is how many platforms this cat tree will have. What do you think, Marshmallow? Two? Three, four, or five platforms. What Marshmallow wants, Marshmallow gets. Four platforms it is. Now, Marshmallow, do you want the posts to be painted different colors or wrapped in string like scratch posts? Scratch post! To do this, I'm going to glue colored thick rope around each tube. Three of the four tubes are wrapped in blue rope. This blue rope looks like the outside of the dollhouse. And this pink rope reminds me of the cat -ivator. It's time to start decorating each platform, which will be designed based off the rooms in the dollhouse. But which ones? Marshmallow, which room of the dollhouse should the lowest platform be inspired by? Music room, kitchen, or bathroom? Marshmallow picks music room. Perfect. What if we gave Marshmallow a place to rest, like the Xyla sofa? Let's use pieces of scratch board to make the couch. Then decorate with colorful strips of paper in all the colors of the rainbow. A scratch board sofa? Awesome! What else should we add to the music room platform? Let's have Marshmallow decide. Rug? Disco ball, drums, or fairy lights. Okay, Marshmallow, pick two. I said two, Marshmallow. Oh well, let's just do them all. Disco ball. Drums. Let's move on to the next platform. What room of the dollhouse should this platform look like? Playroom, bedroom, garden. The fairy tale garden? This will be so fun to decorate. I want to give Marshmallow something to snack on while he explores. Let's make a catnip toy. What should it look like? Flower, rainbow, teapot. A flower? I have the most brilliant idea. I'm going to use these round catnip trees to look like flowers in Kitty Fairy's garden. Now on to the top platform. Crafty Rithic. The craft room is so full of colors and neat materials. I'd like to replicate the cat container baby box uses to hold craft supplies. Marshmallow, do you have a preference for what color it is? Where'd he go? Guess I'll pick yellow cat box. I'll cover the box in yellow paper, then use green to decorate. Two eyes, two ears, and a tiny little cat nose. It's perfect. Let's add that to the platform. There's still so much room left here. What else can we make? Marshmallow, would you rather rainbow streamers or bulletin board? Great choice. I'm going to cut the rainbow streamers out of felt and hang them from the roof platform. And why not add a bulletin board too? And there you have it. Our three platforms are finished. The last thing to do is a pink cat bed that looks like the roof of the dollhouse. Now that Marshmallow's new cat tree is complete, let's show it to him. Here he comes. He loves it. That was such an amusing project. I hope you loved it too. I'm going to go play with Marshmallow on his new cat tree. Maybe next time we'll turn my entire bedroom into Gabby's dollhouse. Until next time, bye. <laughs>